Okay. So it is my pleasure today to uh, introduce or chat with uh, Greg McDonald from the Australian Museum, who I hope will tell us something about his Streamwatch project. So Streamwatch is a citizen science program that's been running for 27 years, I believe it is now. Initially it started as a, an awareness-raising campaign to um, raise awareness and build understanding and comprehension about the importance of water quality. Uh, we've morphed the program into something that's more of a um, robust citizen science program to do with freshwater ecosystems in the Sydney region. Fames has provided the, um, the bridge to the 21st century Streamwatch has always been, um, well, I shouldn't say always been, but it, it's, it's had a history of um, field data sheets that are paper-based, um, hard copy, um, with a transcription of that data by volunteers to our database when and if they find time to upload that data. Um, here, here's the opportunity we find that that data that's been um, measured in the field can, in a very short space of time, be on our database, which is fantastic. Um, I see fantastic opportunities throughout the whole citizen science realm, um, from bird watching through to frog um, identification, all that sort of thing, all that sort of biotic information that citizen scientists can be collecting and transmitting. Uh, it just means that the um, flow through or the throughput of that data is so much quicker or, and is much more reliable in that you're actually getting that information that may otherwise not ever go from the recording notebook to the, the data archive. So, yeah, I, I see a lot of opportunity in, in the citizen science realm for expanding this approach.